Ever wondered why the moon shines at night, silently observing our world from its lonely perch in the sky? This celestial body, our nearest neighbor in the vast expanse of space, has been our constant companion since time immemorial, influencing our planet and our lives in more ways than one. The moon's gravitational pull, for instance, is responsible for the ebb and flow of our oceans, creating the tides that have shaped our coastlines and ecosystems. These rhythmic fluctuations not only influence the life cycles of countless marine species but also have played a crucial role in human history, aiding navigation and fishing. Beyond its earthly impacts, the moon has also held a profound influence on the human psyche. For our ancient ancestors it was a source of wonder and the inspiration for countless myths and legends. Its cyclical phases were seen as a symbol of rebirth and transformation, and its silvery glow, a beacon in the darkness, guiding travelers on their journeys. But the moon is far more than just a nighttime companion or a poetic muse. It's a treasure trove of scientific knowledge waiting to be unlocked. It's a living testament to the history of our solar system, its barren surface scarred by billions of years of meteoric impacts and volcanic activity. And now, as we look to the stars with renewed interest and ambition, the moon has once again caught our attention. We're on the cusp of a new era of lunar exploration, driven by a desire to understand our place in the universe and our capacity to venture beyond our home planet. The reasons for our return are manifold, from scientific discovery to resource utilization, from technological advancement to preparing for future Mars missions. The moon, our silent guardian, may hold more secrets and opportunities than we ever imagined. And as we embark on this exciting journey, we invite you to join us, to explore, to learn, and to dream with us. Because our story, the story of humanity, is written not just on the Earth, but also in the stars. The Apollo missions left us with a treasure trove of lunar knowledge, but they barely scratched the surface. Indeed, our lunar exploits from the late 60s to early 70s were monumental, but there's so much more to discover. Think of it as reading the first chapter of a captivating novel and then never picking it up again. There are unanswered questions about the moon's interior structure, its magnetic anomalies, and the tantalizing possibility of water ice in its permanently shadowed craters. We know the moon is geologically active, with moonquakes and a mysteriously shrinking surface. But why does this happen? And what can it teach us about our own planet's geology? Then there's the question of life. Could the moon have harbored life in its distant past? Or could it perhaps support life in its future? The answers to these questions could redefine our understanding of life's place in the universe. Our moon still holds many mysteries, waiting for us to unravel. Did you know that the moon is a potential goldmine of untapped resources? Yes, that's right. The moon isn't just a celestial body that lights up our night sky, it's a treasure chest waiting to be unlocked. Imagine this. The moon is full of an isotope called helium-3. Now, what's so special about helium-3, you might ask? Well, it's a potential source of safe, clean, and powerful energy which could revolutionize the way we power our planet. And guess what? The moon has it in abundance. Also, hidden in the moon's polar craters, there's something else that's incredibly precious to us. Water ice. This could be used for life support systems, not to mention the potential to create rocket fuel right there on the moon. So the moon isn't just a pretty face to gaze at in the night sky. It's a reservoir of resources that we're just beginning to understand. The moon could be our next frontier for resource extraction. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, is the perfect sandbox for testing new technologies. Imagine it as a giant laboratory, just a quarter of a million miles away, where we can experiment, learn, and grow. We're talking about space habitats, living quarters for astronauts that can withstand the harsh lunar environment. These habitats could pave the way for long-term human presence on other celestial bodies. Think about rovers too, those automated vehicles exploring the moon's surface, exposing secrets buried for eons. Moreover, the moon's low-gravity environment allows us to test technologies for propulsion, drilling, and mining. It's a playground for innovation, a place where we can push the limits of what's possible. We can also test communication systems, vital for maintaining contact with Earth and between astronauts. It's not just about can we live there, but how well can we live there? If we want to push the boundaries of technology, the moon is the place to do it. The moon is not just a destination, it's a stepping stone. Imagine a world where we use the moon as our launch pad for future Mars missions. It's not as far-fetched as you may think. 
The moon, with its low gravity, offers an ideal setting to test technologies and strategies for long-duration space travel. Think about it, the moon is much closer to us than Mars, making it a more manageable testing ground. We can try out new equipment, validate our systems, and even troubleshoot issues in real time before we make the long journey to Mars. The moon also presents an opportunity to practice living off the land. We can experiment with extracting and using lunar resources, preparing us for the challenges we might face on Mars. In essence, the moon could provide us with the experience and knowledge we need to ensure a successful Mars mission. The moon could be our launch pad to the rest of the solar system. Space exploration is not a one-nation race, it's a global endeavor. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, presents an unparalleled opportunity for countries to set aside their differences and unite under a common goal. By returning to the moon, nations around the world can pool their resources, knowledge, and innovation to tackle the immense challenges that space exploration presents. International cooperation in space exploration can foster diplomatic relationships, promote cultural exchange, and stimulate economic growth. Shared missions to the moon can provide a platform for emerging spacefaring nations to contribute and learn, while established space powers can benefit from fresh perspectives and new partnerships. The moon, therefore, is not just a stepping stone for Mars or a potential resource hub, it's a meeting ground, a place where humanity can come together and work as one, transcending borders and politics. Through this collaborative effort, we can achieve more than any single nation could alone. The moon could be a beacon of international collaboration. Remember the excitement of the first moon landing? We can reignite that spark. Picture it, a new wave of lunar exploration, not just sparking curiosity, but igniting a passion for discovery in the hearts of future generations. It's not just about the return to the moon, it's about inspiring the next generation of scientists, engineers, and mathematicians. Imagine the children of today, their eyes wide with wonder as they watch humans once again step onto the lunar surface. That awe-inspiring moment could be the spark that ignites their passion for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The moon's mysteries waiting to be uncovered could be the challenges that drive them to pursue careers in STEM fields. The return to the moon isn't just a journey into space, it's a journey into the future. A journey that could inspire a whole new generation of dreamers and doers. The moon could be our catalyst for a new generation of dreamers. Imagine having a permanent human presence on the moon, a lunar base if you will, where astronauts can live and work for extended periods. This isn't just the stuff of science fiction anymore, but a real possibility for our future. Establishing a lunar base would revolutionize our understanding of space and its potential for human habitation. It would allow us to conduct long-term research on the moon's geology, climate, and potential resources. And it's not just about science. Living on the moon would test our ability to adapt and thrive in a completely alien environment. This robust outpost could serve as a launching pad for further space exploration, with the moon as our gateway to the cosmos. It's a daunting yet thrilling prospect. The challenges are immense, from ensuring sustainable life support to overcoming the harsh lunar conditions. But the potential rewards make it a venture worth pursuing. The moon could be our next home. Ever dreamed of vacationing on the moon? Imagine gazing down at Earth from the lunar surface, watching as our planet rises over the horizon, surrounded by a blanket of stars. It's a sight only 12 individuals have ever witnessed, but that could change. The potential for lunar tourism is vast and could open up a whole new frontier of economic opportunities. Just think about it. Lunar hotels, moonwalks, low-gravity sports, or even lunar safaris, exploring the moon's rugged terrain and craters. It's not just an adventure, it's a chance to experience something truly out of this world. And it's not as far-fetched as it sounds. Companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are already working on technologies that could make this dream a reality. Space tourism could inspire a new generation of explorers and entrepreneurs, fueling innovation and economic growth. The moon could be our next vacation hotspot. Who knows, your next holiday could be a giant leap for mankind. The moon could be our shield against potential threats from space. Imagine our lunar neighbor as a watchtower, its eyes trained on the cosmos, alert for any incoming danger. Near-Earth objects, such as asteroids and comets, pose a very real threat to our planet. The moon, with its proximity and lack of atmospheric interference, 
could serve as an ideal site for monitoring these potentially hazardous objects, but the moon's role in planetary defense doesn't stop with monitoring. It could also serve as a testing ground for deflection strategies. What if we could learn how to divert or destroy a threatening object before it ever reaches Earth? The moon's barren landscape and low gravity make it a perfect site to test and refine these techniques without risking damage to our own planet. In essence, the moon could become our planetary defense station, a celestial shield against the unpredictable dangers of the cosmos. The moon could be our guardian against celestial threats. Space exploration is part of our destiny as a species. It's a bold statement, isn't it? But consider this. Since the dawn of time, we humans have been explorers. We ventured out of caves, crossed vast oceans, and scaled the highest peaks. We are driven by an insatiable curiosity, a deep-seated desire to seek out what lies beyond the horizon. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, is no different. It calls to us, beckoning us to return, to unravel its mysteries, to push the boundaries of our knowledge and our capabilities. Its barren landscape is not just a testament to our past achievements, but a canvas for our future dreams and ambitions. Returning to the moon isn't just about scientific discovery or resource exploitation. It's about fulfilling our destiny as explorers, as innovators, as dreamers. It's about embracing the challenge and the promise of the unknown. The moon is our next step in the great human journey. So, why should we go back to the moon? Let's recap. Our celestial neighbor, the moon, has always been more than just a twinkling companion in our night sky. It holds a wealth of knowledge we've barely begun to scratch. We have unfinished business there, scientific mysteries that remain unsolved, and a lunar history that awaits our return. The moon is a treasure trove of resources. From the potential water ice at its poles to the helium-3 in its regolith, it could provide us with the materials for life support, fuel, and perhaps even energy back here on Earth. Then there's the moon as a technological testbed. The harsh lunar environment is the perfect place to test new technologies, from spacesuits to habitats, before we venture further into the cosmos. It's like a cosmic sandbox where we can practice and perfect our methods and tools. In terms of exploration, the moon serves as a stepping stone to Mars. It's the perfect pit stop, where we can learn to live off-planet and test the technologies we'll need for the longer, more challenging journey to the Red Planet. International cooperation is another compelling reason. Lunar missions could bring nations together, fostering diplomacy, sharing knowledge, and building a global community in space. And let's not forget the power of inspiration. The moon could inspire future generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers, much like the Apollo missions did half a century ago. The establishment of a lunar base would demonstrate human resilience and adaptability, proving that we can establish a home beyond our planet. Space tourism would not only be an exciting prospect for thrill-seekers but also a new industry that could stimulate economic growth. Defending our planet is another key reason. The moon could serve as a base for monitoring and mitigating potential threats from asteroids and other celestial bodies. Finally, it's about human destiny. Our curiosity, our thirst for knowledge, our pioneering spirit, they all drive us to explore the moon and beyond. The moon beckons us once more, it's time we answered its call. As we conclude our lunar journey, we hope you've been inspired and enlightened. If you've learned something new from this video, then please give it a like and share your thoughts in the comments section. We value your opinions and would love to hear your take on our return to the moon. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Also, consider sharing this video with your friends and family. Let's spread the knowledge and continue the conversation on space exploration. Together we can foster a community that's as vast and diverse as the cosmos we're exploring. Remember the universe is full of wonders and every discovery starts with a single step. So, let's take that step together. Until next time, keep looking up.